Hello everybody. Um, just wanted to uh, clarify my tutorial with the video, just in case uh, some of you guys are having problems. Uh, this is to burn any non-verbatim uh, disk using the new LTMAX burner. So first, I'm assuming most of you guys are using Windows for some god-awful reason, so I will boot up into Windows right now. So, um, first thing I've done is I've included a pack um, or a folder here that you can download from my tutorial page. Uh, it has all the firmwares already made if you're using Memorex. And all you have to do with this firmware is flash it like you normally would with the uh, flash utility, but instead you would use um, you would use my firmwares in this folder. So you'd open this and you would let's say you wanted to flash one of these firmwares, let's click yes, and go to the firmware that corresponds to your version. So you go into the Memorex folder, and as you can see, I have a bunch of them already made. Just pick one of these. Um, yeah. Now if you don't, now let's say you're trying to use a different type of disk, you're going to have to make this firmware yourself. And in that case, it's really not that hard. You just open up Media Code Speed Edit, and you're going to load up your the firmware that corresponds to your drive. So um, I'm using the unedited one that comes with the Burner Max firmware, just for the sake of demonstration. So you're going to open that. Now, um, let's say we're trying to burn this MPI PG 101 disk, but you see there's only 4x, 6x, and 8x. Well, what we're going to do is change that and get 2.4. So, double click it, and you will get a menu here with all these other write speeds. And you're going to want to play. You're going to want to pick uh, either this one, or the uh, Rytec, or even this MKM. But I found that this Rico Japan and Rytec one work pretty well. So just pick that, click OK, and it'll say yes, whatever. And that's the other thing to note is that if you do this, the type of disk that you're switching with is not going to work anymore. So anyway, once you do that, you're going to hit yes. And once that's done, you're going to save. I'm actually not going to because I already have a flash version. But once that's done, you're going to want to go into um, your Burner Max folder. You're going to open the flash utility. And you're going to flash your uh, burner with this new firmware that you've just made. So you're going to push right flash. And then you're just going to open up whatever, wherever you save that firmware. So. That's really all there is to it, and then if you want to burn stuff, you can just, uh, if you're using Windows, you can open up Image Burn, and this will burn your disks, but if you're like me and you don't want to go through the crap of having to boot up into Windows, you can open up ISO Burn. This program is very, very awesome. It's simple to use. All you have to do is drag and drop your .dvd files, and uh, everything will already be set up for you. You really don't really have to do much. And yeah, so uh, hopefully this helps you and good luck getting your discs working.